this is Sherry with CPR Craft Pray Repeat and I'm here to show you some more of my Christmas tags for 2020. I have been having a ball working on these and I'm trying to get enough to get ready to give to the uh, police department here so that they can have some for their Christmas and if you give me one second I'll be back with my first tag. Alright everyone this is my first tag for this set. It was just a real simple tag, one of my new tag bases. I used my to and from, uh, keep it simple, to and from stamp set from Paper Tray Ink for the to and from here. This is another little die I have. It, it was a pain in the butt because it was just, it's a wafer thin die and it did not want to punch out these holes all the way through so I had a little trouble with that. <coughs> Excuse me. But it comes with the um, antlers. And I used a real stiff brown felt for that. And for, to give it a, the mimic of Rudolph's nose, I put a red bling in the center there. I'm not sure if you're seeing it well. But there it is. I thought it would look cute and that it would mimic Rudolph on the tag. So that is my first tag for this set. And I'll be right back with the next. Okay, here is my second tag. I used the Save Freeze paper pad that Lisa gave me. I absolutely love this paper pad. There's actually like three or four versions of this paper pad. So I was so happy. I love all of them. And Lisa got me some so I was a happy camper. I used the designer paper here in the back with it just says Hello Winter and Merry Christmas and Snow and all of that. And then I used a piece of their solid collar so that it matched really good. It's just got some little white snowflakes along the edge. This is a ribbon that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Not going to lie, we'll never purchase ribbon there from there again. It's kind of fraying on the edges, so it was a little difficult to get a good piece to make a nice bow. So I won't make that mistake again, but it works and it, it was enough to do this bow and I thought it went really cute with the little snowflakes that are in here. I just put a snowflake here in the center of the bow from Hobby Lobby. This is a die from AliExpress that I purchased last year. Put her together and then there's a, a little sprig of berries and like pine I guess that she's supposed to hold. But I wanted her to hold one of these dimensional candy canes. And I also got them from Hobby Lobby. Not Hobby Lobby. Pfft, my golly. I got it from AliExpress last year. And I couldn't slide it in like the paper was supposed to be. So I actually cut the end of the paw off where it was already perforated. And then laid it on top so it looks like she's grabbing a hold of the candy cane. I love that one. Thought it was really cute. And of course I love any bears. I love bears. And just uh, inked everything up with my Tim Holtz Distress inks. Chalked her little cheeks. Used my gel pen for just a little... A few white accents on the on her little hat and around her ears and eyes and nose. And she was done. She was so cute and so easy to put together. Absolutely love doing her. And she is my second tag for this set. And I'll be back in one second with my third and final tag for this set. Alright everyone, this is my third and final tag for this set. I actually did three of these and I'm putting one in each uh, in, in three different packets. I used, uh, made it a shaker, so it's, I love the way that it makes the sound. And to mimic the wrapping that was, that would be on a piece of candy, it had the, you know, the white, but it just wasn't shiny. And I thought, you know, a, peg, you know, a wrapped piece of candy would be shiny like this part. So I went and just cut out another piece and then took the center out of it so that I could fit it right up against here. And so I just used a tiny little bead of glue and then slid that in. So it's got acetate on the ends here, right here, to mimic a candy wrapper. So that's why it's shiny and giving you the glare. And I just used some of the red and white peppermint, red, white, and green peppermints. That I'll zoom you in here a little bit so you can see the candy. It's really cute. And... Um, absolutely loved putting it in the shakers but it doesn't make much noise because it's like that Fimo stuff I'm thinking and so I added some red sequins some green sequins and actually a few little white snowflakes and then 
my favorite thing to put in sequin or in um, shakers is seed beads because they make the good noise. <laughs> so I absolutely love that. So that is my third and final tag for this set, and it is done. And I love it. The two in, as the two and from are on the back because I added an extra piece back there. So it's a really sturdy tag. It's not, you know, it's not going to tear up easily. So it can handle kids picking it up and touching it and stuff. I made sure of that. So I doubled everything up. I used foam um, sheets here in the center to give me my height. I only needed, I had, this is what I had, the fun foam. It's the, the thin stuff. I just needed two pieces to have enough um, foam or enough height. For the shaker to work on this one so I was really tickled with how it turned out and that is my set of Christmas tags for this video I hope that you like them they were really simple and easy to do but I think they're extremely adorable and pack a really cute wow factor so I think whoever gets them will really like them and I am having a blast doing these it's just I love Christmas it's my favorite time of the year I love working on Christmas stuff all year long. I listen to Christmas music all year long. <laughs> yes, I'm one of those people. But I love it. And um, so I hope that you like it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. All of the dyes that I used here were things I purchased at least a year ago. So I'm not sure that it's available. Um, through AliExpress. If I can find anything, I will try to link it for you though. And remember to practice your CPR. Craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.